Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing Shop My Stuff for the month of October. Can you believe it? It's literally October, which means it's official fall. And two more months, we are literally going to be out of 2024 into 2025. So I'm kind of like, um, yeah, it's a little, sorry, there we go. I just stuff on my camera. But anyways, we're going to go through the stuff that I decided to put back, the stuff I picked out, and the stuff that I decided to keep in my monthly drawer. Now, this time I decided to go more fall looks, so more dark colors, greens, um, oranges, warm tones, um, things like that that I could wear during the fall time. And, of course, I'll be doing a Halloween look towards the end of the year, so watch out for that. I've already did my fall and winter party pants started, so have that all set. But yeah, I'm excited. There's some new stuff coming out for makeup that I'm really enjoying and really going to be buying and trying and everything. So this is like a whole new season, and I'm already doing my candles, my soap, my spray, so I am all into this. So let's go ahead and go over stuff and decide to put back for last month. So the first one is the chemical. Like I said, my skin during the fall and winter is going to be more dry. So I really don't like wearing a lot of matte stuff. No matter if it's primer, foundation, lip products, whatever. So I like to have a combo between some matte, some hydrating stuff, some pore filling stuff, stuff that I know that my skin won't make me look more dry. So I'm going to put back the Covergirl True Blend Matte Foundation, the KVD Good Apple Foundation. Also my Fenty Beauty. I had this in my everyday makeup drawers for quite a few months so it's time me to put it back. I know, I love it. It's my holy grail. I want to keep it, but I have to. Um, for powders, I'm bringing back the Makeup Forever and the She Glam Instant Ready Face and Under Eye Powder. Um, for palettes, I decided to put back quite a few again because I want more of those warm, orangey type tones, more of the bronzy tones, you know fall related type tones. So I decided to put back the Rosie Gold Sunset, the L'Oreal Whimsical Nude, the Wet Wild one, the Berries in Dream, and then of course the Lorac Force Fatal Forest. Which I am see I keep wanting to use this more and every time I decide to keep it in the my everyday makeup drawer for the month I end up not using it but then there's so many good fall colors like the greens the browns the orange I mean okay I'm gonna keep it for one more month if I don't use it for in the month I'm putting it back for a while so this is gonna be a keeper I know I shouldn't have done this but oh well um for Bronzer, I'm putting it back. This is the Artistic Sunset Bronzer, the Alme Healthy Blush. Again, I want more of those warm tones, kind of like out of the cold into winter by the end of the month type ones. For lips, I just put back a whole bunch. Um, the Buxom One Plump Shot in soft blush the NYX this is milky clear one in Kakito shake the uh, Milani fruit fetish I mean the satin lipstick in petal the watermelon sugar one in sweet from Zephrumla the Medjo Juicy Lip Plump in Shea Blossom, also a fruit finish, strawberry melon from Milani, the Elf Old Face lipstick in Epilus, 
these are beautiful colors, but like I said, they're more like spring and summer type colors, so we're in the deep colors here. Um, this one by Revolution or We Love Baby Gloss, and this one, the Noise Orgasm Lip Oil, and then this one by Loyal uh, Loyal Lee Rose Glimmer Lip Gloss, and this one is a liquid shadow, so I had to put this back. This is from LC Rose Court. But yeah, that is everything I decided to put back. So, everything I decided to keep, besides the stuff I'm testing out still, and all that. And ones that I am almost done with. So, this is actually the Child Tills Bay um, Flawless Airbrush Spray. The little nozzle on it was broken, so I changed it to the e.l.f. one. This is not the e.l.f. I finished this one. I have a big one that I am keeping, but yeah. So, this is Choto Bay, which I am keeping. The visual e.l.f. one, this is the visual one. So, this is the makeup set and everything. I have to keep these. Like, some of them I do have to keep because I know they're my holy grails. And if my skin can really oily... During any time, I know where to go and all that. So I am going to keep the Milani Fruit Finish one in Mega Coconut. Um, this one, Bahuda Beauty. I love this one. This is a great hydrate type sprayer. So if my skin is a little too dry or it's during that time when it gets really dry and I feel like I'm really cakey and all that, this is very good. It's supposed to hydrate and all that. So you can see, I am literally almost done with it. So... Keeping that one, also keeping another one from Iconic London. This is also a Pret Set Glow, so keep you that. Really cool, you shake it up and then it gives you like really cool like mister and everything and it makes your skin like really glowy and all that. And like I said, this is the type of stuff I like during the winter to keep my skin from being too dry and too powdery, so. Like I said, I like the options. I like to keep a matte one and a glowy hydrating one or hydrating one to keep my skin fresh. Um, for this one, the Cover Girl or Sibling, I decided to keep because Lily, I am Lily right there. And I want to see if I get it finished. Plus, I have other ones in my project pan and ones I'm testing out. So, I want to have more use out of that and more use of using those so I get my opinion on some of them and finish some so that's the reason for primers I decided to bring back my elf jelly pop primer also decided to keep the wet beauty one which I really do again it's more a balloony primer so again if I have a matte foundation on I could put this underneath and still feel like my skin ain't gonna be dry this one, Combo Wine Control. So, this from Bare Minerals. Also, this one, I am literally almost out. It's the Hydrating Primer. It is a very good primer. Very, like, milky, but feels very hydrating and glossy. And like that, it's going to keep my skin, again, being really dry. So... The options I'm having, because there are days where I feel like my skin really dry, there are days where I feel like my skin really oily, and I just need stuff to help with that. Um, for powder, I am going to keep the Airspun one. Again, I just need to use it more. The NYX one, I figure it would be good for all over the face or underneath the eyes. If this is a translucent, and again, it's more a matte powder for that reason. Then we have the Dior one that is not necessarily a setting powder. At least it doesn't claim. It's just supposed to be like a matte, like, fishy powder. So that way, if I'm using this, I can use the NYX one or the Air one to actually set my makeup. And then put this all over afterwards to give it that beautiful, like, glow within type thing it is you know and I do like it I don't see the hype of it I don't see why people love it and 
buying it over and over again because frankly it just seemed like a wiggle pad that gives you a nice little glow so especially for the price that Dior is just saying okay next blush and all that so I decided so I decided to bring this to Too Faced one again I think it would be perfect for fall and winter for that berry type tone and it's just so beautiful so like I said don't mind me the reason why I gotta cut my videos out all the time because of this but I figured this also would be a great one to give like a little glow so if I don't want to do a highlighter I could put this all over my face and it will give you that beautiful like glow within again perfect for fall and winter so love it then for eyeshadow I decided to keep this one this one is because I'm literally almost done this is the Ace Beauty one again love one look shadow you can see how far I am with it and again it's just one of those like beautiful like shadows you could literally put all over your eye I mean I had this for a while and it's still going and it's still good and it's not dried out so I'm excited about that Okay, and then I decided to, the ones that I decided to pick out, this is all stuff that I keep and all that, but the ones I picked out for like blush and highlight and everything, I got quite a bit of them that I actually did pick out from my collection to use for, I kind of went highlight crazy, so don't mind that. Another one foundation I picked out from my collection is the Hot Candy Sheer Tint. I like to have like some type of tint since I'm putting back the um, Ease Drop one by Fitty Beauty. I figured this would be a great one to use during that time when I went lightweight. And it's supposed to be a hydrating one also, so that's another reason why I decided to pick it out. But let's go ahead and show you all the blushes and highlights that I either picked or decided to keep in my drawer. So, like I said, quite a bit. Okay, the first one is, of course, this one. Again, because of how beautiful it is and how unique it is and the only thing I have. I mean, I don't never had this type of highlight. It could be a great inner corner highlight. It could be a great all over the face highlight great on the shadow highlight I mean I had to keep it in the next one is the Wonder Beauty one this is a beautiful one which I do love remind me of the ABH um, one that I used to have no not that one it's a benefit one May Luminizer that's the one that remind me of May Luminizer has almost the same tone but beautiful. I mean, it has like the same little glow that I love. And then, like I said, I told you I went crazy with highlighters. I can't help it. I love highlighters, <laughs> as you guys can see. Um, the ABH one, IBY one. Again, another one remind me the May Luminizer one. But this is more like a pinky type shade, which kind of reminds me of the cookie one in a way too. But you can see, there's a very little pink hue, but once you like literally like just blend it out, you really don't see like the tiny bit of pink, but it's beautiful. Then I decided to get this back out, the Essen Estate one. This is a very white highlighter, but again... <sighs> It's not too white. It does have like a little bit a myochrome or what you call it. Those type ones that has like look like different colors. And this is in Doomy. It's kind of like got like a bluish 
purpley type tone. But I think it will be great. Um, the next one I decided to I decided to bring out two bronze again is because I'm trying to use what I have in my brush pan. So I decided to bring out the color pop one and the Relove one. Then for highlighter, yes, the last highlighter I picked out is this one by Ofra. I have not used for a while, but this this is a beautiful one. This is by Stephanie Thomas for the her collab. And it's the Milk and Cookies. And I'm sorry, I just had to. I know she haven't done, you know, this is old news. But still, come on now. I had to. You can't blame me for that. I mean, you can, but please don't. Um, like I said, I went highlight crazy. I like to have my options. And I feel like this is the best, these are best options. Okay, the next one. So for eyes, I did pick out some eyes. Oh, I forgot to do one more blush. Sorry, one more highlighter. Um, the Ultra One by this figure. Great. And then the Kelly Wing one. I know I declared this in my previous video because of how crack it is, but I. I just recently got this, so I'm like, <sighs> I can't not use it because it is beautiful. And again, it's one of my beautiful sparkly type highlights that I really do love and really want to keep. So I did change my mind on that. So just remember, if you guys saw that in my previous like a wall video that I did my declutters and that was one of them, I took the back out. I just bought it and it was like really okay like I said let's go for eyes I'm trying to do this really quick because I don't want this to be a long video and then we'll do concealer we can do lips lips will be a last because I have quite a bit of lip stuff that I decided to keep but let me get all my eye stuff some I decided like I say keep my joy the other one the ones I picked out so this one to keep because again this is great for like fall and all that with the green especially doing like actually I'm gonna put that back sorry uh, okay so this one right here is great too this is my Lovecraft Beauty it is called Crazy Goo. Nice little brown taupey one that, again, great for fall. Like I said, we're going to be in this bronzy, warm one. So, I'm like, yep, that will look good. So, then this one, I figured it would be a great, great eye base, but a good color too to use like highlighter eye base and all that and this is by pink rose hip-hop again it's one of those like grayish I mean those white type tones but figure with it being warmed up and everything you could definitely like blend out and give you like little highlights and stuff like that then of course on this, I decided to use the Double Fact Shouster Cookies and Cream again. This is more like a pencil type one. And beautiful. So you got the pink and you got the brown and all that. You can use either one. And I think that's it. Make sure. Yeah, so that's it for eye products. And then, well, of course, it's going to stay the same, so don't be shocked. Um, keeping my soft brown eye pencil, this from Leg Men, 
I can't even say anything. But I did finish my elf one, so I need one to use. Again, I have several of these, so. Then, of course, my benefit. Give me brow. Always have, always have to have a gel tip one. Of course, my NYX one. Like, my eye and my mascara always stay the same because I use those constantly over and over again. So, those always stay the same. Now, when it comes to the lips. These are colors that I decided that would be great for fall and winter. That will definitely work. So we have the e.l.f. one and Drive. Then we have this one by... Milani in Tees. Sorry, my son interrupted me because I have to. Anyways. So, yeah. And then this one by Milani and Can Be a Blend. Again, these will be great for the deeper seasons. And then this one by Prep Society. I figured this would be a fun one. Jealous. I don't know if this is lip gloss or lipstick. Again, I like the color. Oh, it's for like a lip gloss. Okay, so this is a lip gloss. Like I said, these would be good colors to use during this time of the year. Of course, I got a clear gloss by LA Color. Again, just to have a clear one for when. I want a clear gloss. This one by I did decide to put two of them back, but I did get keep this one. This one is in yum because of the color and everything. Again, as you can see, these are like the deep colors that would be perfect fall and everything. But yeah, there is a nude just in case I want to go nude. But I can always stop out with a deeper lip liner. And then this one by Merit. As you can see, you know, these are great colors. So, yeah, that's the color I decided to do. Also got this one by Ilia. Because, like I said, I'm more into lip glosses than lipsticks. So, I have the option for that. Then this one by... K-A-B again so these are all the lip options as you can see they're very beautiful and they will work and then this one decided to keep the glossy one this is by Lee. so and then this one Again, this is mostly because of fall. Boy, yeah. So those should be all the lip products. Yeah, so all the lip products that I decided to pick. And then for concealer, I decided to do the Totsi Hydro One and the NYX Bear With Me. Again, I am testing out a few concealers, so... That's the only reason, so I'm more used out of that. But that is everything I decided to either keep or pick out of my collection to use for uh, the month of October. Hope you guys enjoy everything and all of that. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and actually comment below if you guys are picking out any makeup for October. Or if you guys excited about October, excited about finally have falling, if finally have fall started and Halloween and being the almost spooky season and everything that comes with it so comment down below i would love to hear from you guys don't forget the all stuff that i said and hope you guys have a lovely day and night everything on my face will be down below in the description box so check that out and everything and until then i'll see you next time bye